all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? How's it going today? It's Zach Mitchell with Realty One Group. I'm here with Lem uh, with Get That Art. Um, he's a local tattoo artist, artist here in Goose Creek area. How did you get started? Man, I got started at a very young age. Um, I was probably about maybe six or seven years old. And I started just drawing comic books and stuff like that. You know, um, I grew up in New York and okay. uh, born in Brooklyn, raised in Queens. Um, and, you know, mama was doing the wrong thing, put it like that, uh -huh. you know, in the streets. Just like, so what I did, I always got A's in all my, all my grades in school. But I just, you know, to get my mindset out of reality, uh -huh. if that makes any sense, that was going on in life. Yep. You know, I, I dived into my artwork. So I started drawing comic books. I was a big comic book collector. Okay. I'm a big baseball card collector. Okay. Um, you know, and I just did, did, did those things just to, you know, try to escape reality as I knew it at the moment. Okay. You know? It looks like you really excelled at what you were doing. You yes, sir. You built a really great skill set that people can so enjoy. What was it like when you were getting started? Was uh, there any challenges, or did you? Was there anything that you? A point where you realized that you were really good at what you were doing? Man, let me take a smoke to that. It was major challenges as far as when I was a youth uh -huh. because of how I was upbringing. Uh -huh. Went to jail, did time, a lot of time. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And I developed most of my skill in prison. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, I've been out for about, mm, about 18, 19 years now, maybe 20. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you put me in jail right now, I would cry like a baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I, I and, and I developed my skill in, in jail, man. And, you know, and I, 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 I'll give you a quick story. It'll take 10 seconds. I'm running around the, the, the field in the track. Okay. In, in the yard, in the prison yard, uh -huh. right? Like, I'm a manila envelope right here on the side, just running, you know? And um, and the guy, you know, I, I ran probably about three or four miles. I'm, I don't know. But I was I was running, you yeah. know, big time. I still am. But, you know, and he said, what you got in the envelope? And it was a guy that just met me on the track. He said, what you got in the envelope? And I said, I got artwork. And he said, what kind of artwork? I said, just drawings that I've done. And I opened up my folder and I showed him this is a pencil with regular piece of paper like this, printing paper yep. with a number two pencil, you know, and that's it. And he said, man, you got some talent. And that young man, well, he was older than me, but he developed my talent major. He said, man, what? He said, I saw a hat. Uh -huh. was that and a number two pencil. Yep. Paper and a pencil. That's it. Yep. Then he said, man, you know what? I'm going to call my mama. Yep. And his mama ordered me like over $100 worth of um, supplies in painting and pastels and things like that. Oh, wow. And then I developed this. <laughs> wow, with, uh, with your customers, like, I know you do, you kind of focus on tattoos now. Uh, is there something where you commission artwork for customers or, or uh, anything along that, like if someone would be interested? In I love, I'm an illustrator. Okay. So I love to give me an idea, yeah. you know, and say, hey, Lem, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want, you know, three, four, five different things. This is where I'm getting it. And then let me develop it. Okay. And then I love that because I can do it. And then when they come in, oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. I, Let's do it. You yeah. know, let's work, you know? Absolutely. Cool. So what are some of your goals for next year? Well, my goals definitely is um, to get my shop opened up. I ran my shop for four and a half years. Um, they closed me down because I had, um, they said that um, I was a thousand feet away from the church. Okay. And I said, I probably tattooed the pastor. I mean, what do you, yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm, uh, I'm a thousand feet away from the church. So, you know, it was zoning issues. Okay. So they shut me down. But, you know, I, I got my apprenticeship. I got a Rockstar Tattoo. I'm sh big shout to Rockstar Tattoo. Give them a good shout out because that was, that was one of my first landings. You okay. know, gave me my license, gave me everything I needed to go. Absolutely. You know, so I 100%, you know, uh, 
it's a culture. Yeah. I mean, but it's an, if, if you can't, if you can't do artwork, you yeah. can't tattoo. Yeah. I mean, get out of here. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, it's a culture. Absolutely. Yeah. I love both. Yeah. Uh, I, difficult is not even a word in my profile. I mean, because I love difficult. Uh -huh. Give it to me. Yeah. Give me the hardest S H I T that you can give me. Uh -huh. And it's going to make it easy for me awesome. because I don't want easy crap. Yeah. You know, I want, I want, I want the hard stuff. Okay, cool. You know, yeah. I want, give it to me. Okay. Beat me up. Yeah. Give it to me. So, um, so like running your shop, was there any really mem memorable customer experiences that you had? Um, I mean, you know what? I think every day is a memorable customer experience for me. Every day somebody walk into the shop. And then when they get some work and they don't know what they want and I'll figure it out and blah, 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 blah. That's a memorable one. So every day, every day. I mean, you know, and I go to sleep and when I wake up, every day is, 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 is clear. Uh, Whatever I did yesterday is done. Yep. It's done. I mean, when you're creating something so unique like this, I'm sure it, the 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 difference in what, what each child, each portrait uh, presents is just a whole nother world. I can just see it here with the ones that you have so many different colors and uh, you know figures here, um, and uh, it's I'm I, I can't imagine. I don't have I don't have that skill. Um, I appreciate that, man. Um, so, if a young person was to approach you and ask for advice on how to live their life, uh, what would you tell them? First thing I would do is ask them a question: What are you doing? Okay, I'm going to school. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Okay, okay. What do you do on your off times? That's the first thing I would ask them. Uh -huh. What do you do when you have nothing to do? Okay. Oh, I watch movies. I play video games. Okay. But what is that about? Okay, this is what I do. You know, I'll show them. This is what I do. You know, and and then and then, and then we spark a conversation up. Then the conversation starts going. And then we start moving and grooving and start having a real, you yeah. know, a real conversation. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I mean, just, you know, seeing this, it's someone that has developed something that they're passionate about. Yeah. So to it's to different. That extent, to that extent. Yeah. It gets them thinking about, you know, mm. what, how am I going to do these, you know, take this spare time yeah. that I'm spending playing video I'm games. I'm very militant. I'm very disciplined about what I do. Yes, I'm a little offset. Okay. I'm a freaking artist yeah i'm supposed to be okay that's what i do you know so i'm a little officer but however no if, if somebody come to me i'm gonna t i'm gonna have you sitting down and drawing all day yeah you know i want to see it i want to roll i want to this i want that one i want to see you draw i want to see you work i want to see what comes out your brain see if you could produce this yeah. you know what i'm saying then we can go to the next level then we can go to the next level then maybe you could be an apprentice yeah Cool. Maybe I could train you. Yeah. Maybe, you know, That's it ain't easy That's getting into this world that we live in. Yeah. You know, this is art. Mm -hmm. You know, tattooing is art. Painting is art. This is different. You you don't need this here, mm -hmm. right? But you want it. Everybody wants everybody. Look at my walls. They're blank because we just moved in here. But however, I want art all over the everything, every, everywhere, you know, and, and almost everybody wants that. You know, and I've sold plenty of paintings, and I've so I did many. I was in the Motors Art Festival, Spoleta Festival. Okay, been yeah. in um absolutely all of that, yeah. all of that down to all of that. You know, so you know everybody wants it, but you got to be able to show it. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. Well, you know, Lem, I really appreciate you sitting me sitting down here explaining. You know, you're obviously very gifted talent that you appreciate have it, to share with the world and. uh uh, everyone make sure that you visit his page there on the community website and uh, I'm sure he'll be happy to you know do commissioned artwork for you of course, or, or of course. I appreciate it doing and yes. uh, again thank you guys for joining us here for the uh, business spotlight interview. thank you very much appreciate y'all